All right, everybody. Oh, this is a scandal. It's involving my princess, Kate Middleton, and a Mother's Day photo. We take a closer look at the edited photo and how it went so wrong. Plus, Bun B becoming a Rodeo Houston icon with his All-American Takeover concert tonight to his beloved Trill Burgers. Maggie has an exclusive interview with Bun B still ahead. And getting ready to be moved by this story. Yeah, it's of perseverance and determination. You will meet the first woman boxer to represent Team USA in our Journey to Paris series. Houston still happening. I'm Idolina Perales filling in for Maggie and welcome to Houston Happens. Well, we have to start off with today's top talker and I am clearly vested in it. <laughs> it's about Princess of Wales and the rest of the world under scrutiny for poorly photoshopped images of Kate and the kids. And now the princess is saying, sorry. We'll get to her statement here in just a sec, but here is a look at what some are calling the proof of life photo. Here's the background. The photo appeared on social media Sunday along with a message from Kate wishing everyone a happy Mother's Day, which by the way, if you didn't know, is celebrated in the United Kingdom this past Sunday. Well, this is the first photo of Kate since she left hospital at the end of January after a planned abdominal surgery. In the photo right here in the close-ups, you can see where it all went wrong. First of all, Charlotte's thumb, it disappears. Her sleeve and skirt misaligned. Oh, and those hair ends, what's going on there? Meanwhile, the zipper on Kate's sweater, where did that go? And if you ever have a chance to look real close at Prince Louis' fingers, ugh, enough said. Well, the princess released this statement apologizing for the confusion caused by her photo editing. She says, quote, like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. Well, here are my two questions. Doesn't she have a team to do this for her? And where's her social media manager who oversees the account? I mean, right? She's the princess. Step it up, marketing team. <laughs> All right, okay, off my soapbox, just in case you guys didn't catch it. I love Princess Kate. All right, switching gears, if you shop at Trader Joe's, you know that cute little mini tote bag that everyone is just raving about? The $2.99 dollar bags are Trader Joe's hot commodity right now. And that explains the amount of shoppers that you see in this store in California, grabbing one, two, even three at a time. Now they're a limited item. They're sold exclusively in the stores, but that is not stopping resellers from trying to profit off the viral bag and its social media craze. We checked. And it's true, one seller selling a pack of four tote bags for, can you believe this, $999. Ah, I don't know about that. I'll just, I'll just wait to get it at DI or Goodwill. I'm just saying. Well, yeah, the power of social media, right? Well, speaking of, some teachers are saying that while parents are aware of the issues associated to social media and their kids, they don't quite realize how cell phones can impact them at school. And why is that? That's because mom and dad are texting their kids during class time, even when the school's regulator banned cell phones. It's hard for teachers to enforce it. The constant buzz on watches and phones distracting their kids, but a few changes in parents' behavior can actually help. Here's what teachers and experts recommend. First of all, teachers say you can reach your child through the front office if there's an emergency. Now, if the message is not urgent, get this, it can probably wait. Many parents got used to just being in constant contact during the COVID-19 pandemic, but experts say setting in a time window in which parents just cut the cord and that the kid be independent at school is the best thing to do. Lastly, experts say you can work with your kids to turn off some or all of their attention, stealing notifications to prevent all that buzzing or ringing during class. Now let's go ahead and bring in Kerrigan. Kerrigan. I am so happy that I did not grow up in the age of cell phones because judging by the amount of phone calls that I get from my mom now, mm. I don't think she would ever stop. I think I'd just be constantly harassed by her while I was at school. 
<laughs> so for me, it was my dad who was the problem because mm. I, I had my cell phone in high school and then you weren't allowed to have phones in school. So I had to like sneak in <gasps> and but yeah, again. I would check my phone and it was my dad <laughs> texting me. I, so my mom knew that I couldn't have a phone there and all this stuff. My dad had no clue. He was oblivious to the whole thing. <laughs> but he would text me like random trivia questions yeah. throughout the day. I'm like, so, like, are you just sitting at home watching Discovery Channel? Like, what's going on right now? <laughs> Is that what it was? Yes. Or <laughs> he would be all like offshore uh, fishing or something yeah. and he'd just be texting me pictures of like fish and random birds asking if I knew oh. like, what, what this bird was throughout the day and meanwhile I'm sitting in class getting in trouble because of him. <laughs> You're like dad I'm trying to learn calculus here. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, like that's, I don't know what type of seagull that is but I don't know the answer <laughs> to problem four on my, my test. So <laughs> anyways. Oh my goodness. Ah parents I love them. All right hey let's talk Talk about uh, today's forecast because I do got to go play mommy after this. Am I going to be able to take my kids out, get a little of their energy out this afternoon? Yeah, for today we have some rather nice weather in store. I'm going to start with our Galveston forecast. Say you're a parent taking your kid out to the coastline today. Not a bad beach day in my opinion. We have a mix of sun and clouds out there. Temperatures in the 70s, UV index in that moderate range. I always say if you spend a lot of time indoors throughout the winter months like myself, you will burn rather easily out there so apply sunscreen and then reapply over and over throughout the course of your time out there on the beach today flag status is in that yellow range wind speeds are out of the south at 10 miles per hour wave heights are around one to two feet now as for our skies we have that mix of sun and clouds today no real rain chances for today are for the start of tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a very similar day with the exception of wind speeds picking up just a bit for us out of the south. Could be a little gusty at times for Wednesday and Thursday. Cloud cover does break up tomorrow afternoon. We will see some parts of our day with a little bit more sun than clouds, other parts of our day with a little more clouds than sun. Just going to be one of those uh, those rolling forecasts where we're all going to be experiencing something a little bit different throughout the course of the day. And that really does um, hold steady for our Thursday as well. Some of us will see rain, others will not. We have about a 20% chance of rain in the forecast for Thursday afternoon. Thursday night, we have cloud cover building back on in. Wind speeds really picking up out of the south for us ahead of a system passing on through, which will bring the chance for rain and thunderstorms for Thursday night, Friday, and even into our Saturday. So weekend plans could be a little soggy at times, depending where you are in town, but we are expecting rain chances to increase, especially for the later portion of the week. Okay, now Kerrigan, my child, the girl. Oh, the girl. She took me from our house to a playground that is a mile away yesterday. And all I saw was just like the oak pollen all around. Oh yeah. Yeah, so can you do me a favor and look at the pollen counts coming up here that you do for I your next break? I can just tell by the amount <laughs> that was on my trash can when I took my trash can out to the road at 3 a.m. this morning. Keep that in mind. Um, it was, it, no, it was so the whole top of it was yellow. I was like, <laughs> you can like ride on the cars, clean me. Yeah, exactly. Clean me. On the trash can, pick me up. <laughs> I love it. All right, thank you so much, Kerrigan. Look forward to seeing you again here in just a few minutes. For right now, let's go ahead and take a quick break, but we have a lot more Houston Happens after the break. was odd. People are still trying to mentally process how all of this could have happened. Crime Nation, a true crime docuseries tonight at 8, 7 central. In here, you can expect to find crystal clear audio, expansive display space, and more comfort for everyone. But we still left room for all the unexpected things you'll find out here. The new 2024 Grand Cherokee lineup. Jeep, there's only one. During the Jeep Celebration event, get 10% below MSRP on most 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee and Grand Cherokee L models. Don't miss this great offer. To the tooth grinders, the ice chewers, and the bottle openers, you are welcome here. At Jefferson Dental and Orthodontics, we get it. Life happens, and your teeth take a beating. We're here to meet you where you are, which means creating payment plans that work with your budget, whether you're insured or not. At Jefferson Dental and Orthodontics, all smiles are welcome here. Not just the perfect ones. Call 800-449-5058.
Would you buy a life insurance policy if you knew your rate increased every five years? What if $9.95 a month bought you less than $1,000 in protection? Sadly, many policies that seniors buy today fail to mention this in their advertisements. You could buy a policy that might not give you enough coverage when you need it most. Call now to receive free information on the Senior Care Plan from Senior Life Insurance Company. The Senior Care Plan guarantees your rates cannot increase. Your benefit will never decrease. There is no medical exam and you will have lifetime coverage. You could qualify for up to $30,000 in whole life protection and rates start as low as $5.90 a month. With the Senior Care Plan, your coverage can start immediately, unlike other policies that don't give you full coverage for two years. Call now for free information on the Senior Care Plan from Senior Life. By calling now, you lock in the lowest rate possible. You have no obligation. Call now. We want to be sure about our children's health. The pediatricians at Legacy Community Health get to know each child and family, answering all your health questions and your child's too. From well child exams to safe and effective vaccines like COVID-19 and flu, getting that picky eater to try more veggies, or helping your high schooler deal with exam stress, Legacy's team is your trusted partner in your child's health and wellness. New patients are welcome at 14 convenient locations. Embrace your inner mom. This hug would mean more if you stopped chewing. Mom, weeknights at 11 and 11.30 on CW39 Houston. It's Rodeo Houston, y'all. They have so much going on today from the activities, foods, concerts, carnival. It's going to be a good time down at NRG Park. Well, tonight, the big concert, the one everybody here is talking about, rapper and Troll Burgers owner Bun B will have his official H-Town All-American Takeover and Woo, have you guys seen the guest list on this one? Well, we had to bring in our, C our Houston Happens, Kara Willis. She's actually live right now from NRG with a preview of what fans can expect. So, Kara, loving the hat. What the what? You are styling right now, darling. What the what? I had to bring the pink hat back out for its appearance. I know everyone loves it, so thanks for that, Ito. But you can see behind me, Kirby is typically a busy street, but the big talk around this area is going to be the rodeo, especially tonight with Bun B's big takeover concert, amazing lineup. But I'm told by rodeo staff that if you're still looking for those tickets, there are some that are still available, but if you're looking for some last minute ones, it's going to cost you. Now, what we're about to show you is some footage from yesterday day afternoon here at Rodeo Houston. Families are coming in and out and just having a great time yesterday and that'll be no different um, for today's festivities and also for the big concert tonight. Rodeo staff say that there will be even more people at NRG because of this concert. Bundy is known for bringing out some pretty iconic guests at his Rodeo Houston concerts and tonight you're sure to know someone that's on this lineup with guests like Nelly, E40, Too Short, that Mexican OT. It's his first rodeo concert concert. Eve, Ying Yang Twins, and most recently the big talker is Drake. Danielle Grossman, Director of Strategic Communications here at Rodeo Houston, says if you're coming out tonight, make your plans early. So we know that there's a great lineup and it's going to be a very exciting electric evening with tons of music everyone knows. So I think that's the most exciting part is attending and not really knowing what's going to happen, but knowing who is going to be performing. Now, if you're buying a ticket from a third party, just be extra careful before you buy. Do your research, research, I should say. And she says to be safe, the best way is to secure a verified ticket to purchase from AXS on RodeoHouston.com. And again, that concert happens tonight at 645. So you still have a little bit of time. And also, Ito, most importantly, if you're coming out to enjoy the carnival, the food, I know the food is one of my favorite parts, or even the big concert tonight, make a full day out of it. You know, many of the kids are out on spring break. Why not? The weather is great. Come out, enjoy some food, enjoy some rides, and of course, get ready for that big concert to sing some songs we all know. <laughs> yeah, we're getting ready to sing and we're getting ready to groove. Thank you so much, Kara. Again, adorable. That hat, keep it. You got to keep keep using it. <laughs> well, speaking of Bumby, you cannot skip the Trill Burgers line. I know it's really long, but I'm telling you, it is worth it. Maggie caught up with Bumby himself and what's new at the Houston Rodeo Stand. 
Well, Rodeo Houston just got Trill. I am with our friend of the show, Bun B himself at Trill Burgers. There's already a line, my friend. Yeah, I mean, look, it's exciting. You know, we're we're so happy to be a part of the rodeo again as a company. We love to serve the people of Houston. We're starting to feel like we're a part of rodeo tradition at this point. I feel like people expect to see Trill Burgers at the rodeo, and we're excited to be here. And, you know, we've been wanting to do something different with the rodeo because the rodeo is, you know, a true unification of the city of Houston. Like, this is about as Houston as Houston gets. But we wanted to do something that showed that we were embracing the rodeo as well. So we decided to add two new items on the menu that are barbecue rodeo themed. And if you're going to do barbecue in Houston, you couldn't pick a better partner than Ronnie Killer. So I reached out to Ronnie initially to ask to use his sauce on our on our burger and our fries. And he was like, that that's nothing, no problem. He said, would you want to do some brisket as well? I mean, it's Ronnie Killing's brisket. Yeah, Abs seriously. Absolutely. Did you have to ask? I mean, come on, man. So, so we've created two new items. The first one is the Trillin's barbecue brisket burger. So that's going to come with two patties, two slices of cheese, our caramelized onions and pickles and sauce. But we're also adding some trill, some Killin's barbecue sauce on top and fried onion rings on the burger. But if you want brisket, because we're making it optional for people, because that's a lot of burger as is. But if you're up for it, we can put another three ounces of brisket on top of that burger and just make it a full experience for you right here. As only Houston does at the rodeo. Go big or go home, right? Right. But for people that just want a burger but still want a little brisket, we got the Trillin's Barbecue Brisket Fries. So we have our amazing, super flavored, seasoned Trill fries. We're going to cover that with a bed of brisket. We're going to chop it, put a little sauce on it. We're going to add some white queso, some onions, pickles, and for us Texans, jalapenos. Chef's kiss to you, bud. Yes. This is amazing. Now, here's the thing. It's all always packed here, but you're also inside the stadium now, Yes, too. for the first time, we're going to be serving not only at our booth right here outside Rodeo Plaza at RP65, we're also going to be at our four stations inside NRG. It's the first time we've ever done it outside and inside. It takes a lot of people to get it done, but we've been training people. They are ready to feed you guys, whether you're outside enjoying the fairgrounds and the carnival, maybe taking the kids by the petting zoo, or if you're inside watching the competitions, getting ready for a concert, Trillberg has got you covered at the rodeo this year. Well, speaking of watching a concert. <laughs> Honey, you are busy. So yes. tell us a little bit about All American Takeover. I'm excited. This is my third year in a row performing at the rodeo, which is almost unheard of. It's an amazing thing that I've been able to bring to the city. Of course, the first year we did the H-Town Takeover, which went over like gangbusters. Last year we did the Southern Takeover, which was crazy. But this year we've got the All American Takeover. So I'm pulling from all over this country. So we've got California with E40 and Too Short. We've got Missouri with Nelly. We've got Florida with Rick Ross. We've got Houston with the Mexican OT, that Mexican OT and myself. I've got a lot of other great surprises. I'm going to be announcing about three more people before this thing gets started. Oh. And I'm still going to have a surprise. What? Yes. Of course you are because you're Bun B. That's how <laughs> you roll. When you step out, though, onto that revolving stage and there's all of those people yelling your name, what does that feel like? It's, it's surreal. You know what I'm saying? Because one of the first concerts I ever came to was at the Houston Livestock Show really? at Rodeo. I saw Conway Twitty and Loretta Lynn. That's become like a joke amongst my close <laughs> friends. I don't want to get them started. But to be on that stage performing for people, um, it's, I mean, it's really hard to put into words because I performed for tens of thousands of people before. Um, you know, I've done music festivals and things like that. But to do it here in Houston at the rodeo for Houstonians, it's unlike anything I think I could ever be a part of. It's so special to me. And I'm glad that people from other places are now seeing how special, not just my night and my performance, but how special the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo really is, how culturally uh, significant it is to the city of Houston and our identity. I think it's one of the best cultural exports that we have here. We recommend that anybody that would love to come and see here. Houston is a great hosting city. We'd love to have you come on down, enjoy the rodeo, and get a trill burger while you're here. I love it. And in closing, I saw you with kids. What message would you have for our youth out there? I mean, you really, look at where you are. So what message would you have for them? Look, man, hard work pays off. You know what I'm saying? I know that a lot of times it seems like one post or a couple of different TikTok videos and people soar to the top, but it's not really that easy. There's a lot of hard work that people put in that don't really, you don't really see on social media. You only see the wins. You don't see the losses and the steps that it takes. So if you don't make it on the first couple of tries, that doesn't mean it's not meant for you. That just means it isn't time yet. 
keep trying, stay focused, stay steady on the path, and I'm pretty sure you'll end up where you want to be. Well, drop the mic at that one. As always, it was a pleasure to have you, and congrats on all of your success. We can't wait to rodeo with you. I cannot wait to have you guys here. Y'all make sure to keep watching Houston Happens on CW39, CW baby. Thank you. CW39's lifestyle show, Houston Happens, highlights local businesses every day. Our team's ready to help you reach more customers and grow your revenue. We'd love to speak with you. Please scan the QR code or email hhsales at cw39.com today. Searching for dental implants? When you find yourself needing to replace all of your teeth, you've done the research. You've heard Renew Smiles say we are up to 60% less than other providers. And maybe you thought to yourself, not a chance. But the reality is, that is 100% true. Renew Smiles is up to 60% less than other providers and offers low monthly financing, even with lower credit scores. Great value, high quality, happy patients, lives changed. Call today. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was gonna have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered Arthritis Knee Pain Centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting edge image guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA approved non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief, comfort, and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers, Relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. Because I have both Medicaid and Medicare, I got a special Medicare Advantage plan from WellCare. It's called DSNP. That's D-S-N-P. And it stands for Dual Eligible Special Needs Plan. Ah, uh, my grandson, it's my boy. Hey, Grandma. And a WellCare DSNP comes with a whole lot of these. As in WellCare gives me benefits I can use every day. And real human support and answers I can understand. And I get benefits like $0 copays on prescriptions and a WellCare Spendables debit card to pay for things like dental, utilities, and groceries. I can even use it to pay at the pump for gas. And that means a WellCare DSNP provides what I need when I need it. And that gives me the confidence I need to get through every day. The coverage you need and more. Call or visit wellcareyes.com to see if you qualify for more benefits. Bit by a dog? Call us at Simmons & Fletcher, 1-800-JUSTICE. The Big Bang Theory, tonight at 6 and 6.30 on CW39 Houston. right now for the second half hour of Houston Happens. And of course, we have to check in with the newsroom it girl, producer Lou. Hi, Hi Lou! Oh my God, I'm the it girl? You are! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm here with Charlie and Bree, so we have some good company going around. Uh, hey guys, come on, Bree, give us a, give us give a wave, Bree. Bree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, so uh, today is the newsroom favorite. Tasty Tuesday, what's oh, happening? You can see like people are already lining up outside <laughs> the studio door. Like there's a line, trust me. Because what you're about to see is crazy. <laughs> Who's from favorite? Shadrika. She's already in there, I think, getting the talented chef from Ginia Ramen get already set up for this. We're celebrating National Noodle Day. Can you believe this? I didn't know we have National Ooh. Noodle Day. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I didn't know bowls, either. <laughs> these balls look pretty good. Yeah, I know, look at this one. Oh, oh look I at that. I wonder what's in there. I don't know, but the chefs, they're setting up right now and I'm sure they're gonna let us know. Oh my goodness. I can't wait. What's your favorite noodle dish? I mean, is this like Asian only or can pasta be considered a noodle? I don't know. Uh, no, I think it's just, gonna, uh, well, I'll go ahead and ask the chef here in just a minute because they're still setting up right now. We'll definitely ask them what's in it yeah. and uh, what type of noodles, what makes that different. Uh, but I really, really love chicken ramen. Like just the, yeah. just the salty brininess and just going 
slurping up those noodles. Yeah. My husband does not like the sound of slurping, so I go by myself and just slurp all See, by I was always taught that slurping your noodles is uh, like not a good thing at all. What? But it's like you got to take into consideration other people like they do it and like it's part of their culture. Yeah, so. exactly. Hold on, hold on. Denver. Okay, she they're setting up right now. Denver, if somebody <laughs> slurps your noodles, are you okay with that? It's encouraged. It's encouraged. It's encouraged from the well, there owner you go, right mom here. and dad. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely good. You guys are on TV, yeah. by the way. Say hi. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're getting everything set up right now. Absolutely love it. Okay, Lou, I'm so excited. I'm going to be mun munching down here in just a minute. Thank you so much for giving us this preview and setting this up. Of course. So you guys know, producer Lou, she's the reason why we have Got all you. these wonderful guests. <laughs> <laughs> and then Charlie's there, too. <laughs> we'll be right back with more Houston Happens after the... Take kindly to lousy deals from the greedy insurance company. From your medical expenses to your lost wages, the fight is on. Your call, 713-777-4000. I'm Bill Adler. I'm Jim Adler. The, the Texas, Texas Mayor. Mayor. TexasQualityPlumbing.com We fix faucets and sinks, toilets that leak, drains that back up, showers and tubs. We're Texas Quality Plumbing. We're gas lines, water heaters, yard drains, drain cleaners. Yeah, we're the plumbing pros. The trusted name that Houston knows. Texas Quality Plumbing.com. In here, you can expect to find crystal clear audio, expansive display space, and more comfort for everyone. But we still left room for all the unexpected things you'll find out here. The new 2024 Grand Cherokee lineup. Jeep, there's only one. During the Jeep Celebration event, get 10% below MSRP on most 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee and Grand Cherokee L models. Don't miss this great offer. Did you ever look at your house and think it just might be time for a change? Well, right now at National Floors Direct, we'll help you change for just $1,088. We'll give you three full rooms of carpeting, next day installation, padding, everything, all for just $1,088. Three rooms, no hidden extras. Now that's the kind of change everyone can afford and no interest for one year. Call National Floors Direct, 888-400-FLOOR. Get three rooms of carpeting for just $1,088. We'll bring the store to your door. You don't have to leave your living room to play the lottery. Just use the Jack Pocket app. Hot! Okay, everyone, please silence your phones. I won. I won! I won! I never win anything, and I won today! We won! Yes! Dollar, dollar bills, y'all, I'm out! To win anytime, anywhere, download the Jack Pocket Lottery app. I feel good. Na, 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 na. I knew that I would. Na, 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 na. Ooh, yum. Hey. hey. I feel good. People's Court, today at 11 on CW39 Houston. Hurt from a bad wreck. I'll fight hard to land the benefits you deserve. Medical and hospital bills. Lost wages, car, truck repair. Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, got your back. Call now for a free case evaluation. All right, well, it is Tuesday. It is the second day of spring break, and I'm sure, like many of you, are ready to get your kids out of the house. Let's go ahead and bring in Kerrigan. She's our meteorologist for the day. So Kerrigan, is it going to be nice where I won't feel so bad to kick my kids out? Yeah, you can kick them out today. Woohoo! <laughs> but wipe their feet before they get back in the house. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 I didn't tell you this. We have two possums living in our backyard oh. now. Oh. Yeah, I, uh, well, I knew we did because they left us little nuggets of surprises on the lawn. Oh. And we saw them the other day scurrying underneath the shed. So that's cool. Fun little tidbit of your life there. It was a little <laughs> out of the blue, but I'm, I like it. <laughs> I know. And then you just said wiping off your shoes because the kids well, step in it. Step oh, in those little okay. nuggets. Well, 
The reason I said that was because you told me to bring up the pollen count. <gasps> yes. Because you were talking about the pollen on the ground and your kids kicking it around. Oh, she did do that. So I was I was going off of that train, and then then you brought in the, the possum droppings and <laughs> welcome to world of Edo. So Karen, let's talk about that pollen count. Yes, my daughter was kicking up the pollen okay. just like this one. And we're back on track. Yes, and like this morning, my <laughs> eyes were just like just leaking. Did anybody else? Anybody else leaking? Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm just trying to find ways to respond to you right now. I'm still stuck on the pollen, uh, the pollen dropping, the possum, the possum, the possum, the possum and the pollen, the pollen. Uh, <laughs> anyways, the oak is still very high. As you can see uh, in this picture in the background, you probably are noticing a lot of that around your neighborhood. I have that in my own backyard too that I'm trying to rake up in the afternoons. Uh, that grass and mold in the medium range and our weed is now in that low category. Not too much of a concern, but that oak pollen sure is getting the best of a lot of us. Going into our wind speeds for tomorrow, we're going to see them really ramp up out of the south. So maybe that'll help blow around some of the pollen in the air. I'm sure we'll all love that sarcasm right there. So uh, it'll be gusty on Thursday as well. So we'll continue to see these gusty conditions uh, throughout the rest of our week. Meanwhile, speaking of the wind, we have high wind and also low relative humidity off in the panhandle in the far western part of the state of Texas right now, causing for a fire weather watch to be issued for today. They normally issue these watch days in advance of whenever a potential hazardous situation could take place. So the elements are all becoming in favor for the potential for wildfire spreading. So we are keeping a close eye on those conditions out in the western part of Texas. Meanwhile, we have rather okay weather for the next couple of days. It's not perfect, but I mean, it can definitely be worse. We have temperatures in the 70s and 80s for the next two days. Overnight lows slightly warmer than what we've been the past few days in those mid to upper 60s. And then that chance of rain arrives as we head into the end of this week. Thursday and Friday, we have a lower chance of rain, but boy, uh, but as we head into the weekend, we see um, 50 and 40 percent chance for Friday and Saturday. So that's going to mean a bit more thunderstorm activity possible throughout the area. We don't have any widespread rainfall coming on through, but it definitely could be a nuisance at time. Yeah, that's good to hear, though, that it's not going to be widespread because I mean, we're still in rodeo Houston season, right? That is true, and a lot of big events um, for the rest of this one tonight, for the weekend, a lot of big things to do. So I'm going to try to go out to the rodeo before those rain chances start entering our forecast, so I might be out there tomorrow. Tomorrow? I thought you were going to try to go out tonight. Yeah, my sleep schedule says absolutely not. So <laughs> um, I'm going to go to the daytime, and then before sunset, I plan on being tucked into bed. That's right. You have a rule right now. How long is this rule going to last? I'm hoping that it lasts for a, a long time, but I think I'm going to break my rule on Thursday, so... Oh, I have to get the deets on that one. <laughs> I also broke my rule on Saturday. There's been two exceptions so far. Okay, Otherwise, good. I've been in bed before the sun. Yeah, so, so you guys know at home, Kerrigan has a rule right now that she's going to be home before sunset, which is actually a little bit later now thanks to Daylight Saving, so... Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> There's a flaw. There's a flaw in my rule. I love it. Thank Anyways. you so much, Kerrigan. Well, let's move on to this. Your tiny tots, yeah, they're busy right now from walking and talking and trying to get into everything they shouldn't. So it's time to check in and stock up on some of the new stuff that's just for them. Jessica Willis is standing by with the top toddler trends from Consumer Resource BestReviews.com. Having a toddler comes with a whole new set of challenges from keeping their minds growing to making sure they're healthy. To make sure they have the right products, joining us now with the must-haves for your little one is Senior Director of Content Operations at Best Reviews, Jacob Palmer. Jacob, it's always so good to see you. Oh, it's great to be here. And I love it when it's right in my wheelhouse. And I've got a toddler at home, so I'm ready to speak to how all of these things can make life a little easier because I think the one thing that most parents can agree on is that there are a lot of different things you can use to make life easier because it's not the easiest process. So thank you for sorting through some of this with us. Um, let's start right here. What do we have here? When you go from constantly giving your baby 
milk to giving them solids and getting them onto real food, it's kind of scary and it's also a mess in a literal and kind of figurative way. Uh, and these will help you manage that mess. It's also all of these products are made out of silicone, which is nice because they can't, the toddler can't break it yes. when, uh, you know, he or she throws it on the ground. Right, I know uh, food time is when they love to just throw everything on the floor. What's great about the, uh, the bowl here is that it is, will adhere to the table so your toddler won't be able to pull it off and throw it as easily as they want to. So we got the feeding done and now we need some playtime. What do we have here? And at this age, playtime is so important for development. So we've got a few different products here, all from Miniland. And what's great about these is that they cover a lot of different uh, uh, portions of that developmental cycle. So starting here with the sensory balls, this is great for the younger toddler, you know, the kid who's still trying to figure things out and go through a bunch of different stuff. Love these because they give a bunch of different textures, a bunch of different weights. And then you move into uh, some of the dolls here. And my daughter will be absolutely crazy about these because she is doll obsessed. But what's great about these is, again, they're teaching and they're helping kids develop. So starting with the diversity blocks here, it helps them understand the world around them. It helps them understand that people come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. You've got the emoji blocks, which helps them understand their own emotions. And this will help them understand, you know, what are these feelings that I'm processing through right now? Helping them understand that. How do you react to that? How does this make you feel is a super valuable thing, especially when they're thinking they're just having fun. Yeah, toys that are doing double duty. Yes. I'm really into that. And I appreciate the diversity as well. I think. A lot of great messages. And it's really important. You know, it's really important because they are just figuring out so many different things. What's so, next for the, for the parents? So today? this is a romper from Docatot. This can do double, double duty because it's nice and heavy. It'll keep them warm. It's quilted. So it kind of doubles up in a way that's super valuable for that daytime sleep. So love it for the weekends. Uh, love it for when you're going out and you might want to, you know, have them catch a quick nap while you're at the park. Okay, love that. It's going to get them nice and cozy. And anytime that they can sleep, I'm sure parents will yeah. appreciate that. <laughs> Any product that encourages sleep is a good product for yes. a parent. So yes. what do we have over here with this teddy bear? So this is a very interesting product and it comes to us from Tum and Bum. And it's what's great about it is that it solves very real issues for a lot of toddlers. Uh, you know, they might have congestion. They might be dealing with uh, something as serious as acid reflux, which is super uncomfortable. And this helps them do it in a natural way. They're supposed, the toddler's supposed to lay on it like how we see the teddy bear is right now with, you know, their st stomach down and their head to the side. So it helps them alleviate some of those symptoms, which is very upsetting for parents as kids are struggling with that. Jacob, I love all of these products. I love the multi-use that you get out of them and really that it's uh, entertaining the kids, doing something great for them, and then just making life less stressful for parents. So thank you. Anything a parent can grab and use and be functional with, they're going to be a big fan of it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jacob. And thanks for having me. For more on these products and others, head to bestreviews.com or scan the QR code that you see on your screen. Well, if you have a toddler, you know how hard it is to keep those carpets spill free. Well, luckily our friends at Zero Res can leave yours looking brand new. Okay, so my whole downstairs is tile. And have you guys noticed too, if you have it, that mopping your tile just doesn't seem to get that grout clean? It's beyond frustrating, but guess what? Our good friend of the show, Kyle from Zero Res, he is here with a solution. I need to hear this. Yes, so tile is porous. Okay. And the reason when you're mopping it, all you're doing is just putting dirty water back into that. No matter how often you change your water, you're just going to keep pushing that stuff into the pores. Okay? okay. The great thing about our process is we actually are going to be able to suck and hit and knock all that soil out of the grout lines, making them nice and clean. Now, here's, here's the thing. You've heard people say, oh, but Kyle, I've cleaned with vinegar and water. Yes. Stop doing that. Why? Because vinegar is an acidity and it actually breaks down the grout. Oh, no. So after, uh, after years, your grout's going to start to crack. It's going to start to come apart. It's going to start to cause you a lot of bad problems. And so mm, that's a no-no. Okay. You want to know what's a good thing to do? What? Call zero rest. <laughs> Well, I kind of need to do this ASAP after you just said that, especially. But here's the thing. I'm not scared to pick up the phone and call, especially when I see prices like these. Call Zero Res today. You're watching Houston Happen. Things are heating up in the courtroom. Three judges are better than one. Triple the judges, triple the action. Hot Bench, next on CW39 Houston. You probably know a National Floors Direct, we install flooring the next day. And you may be thinking, what's the big deal? Well, if you go to a flooring store or big home warehouse, 
Your installation could take up to six weeks or more. Just ask them. Well, we don't think that's right. At National Floors Direct, if you call today, you'll see a representative when you want, and you'll have your flooring installed the next day. So get the flooring experience you deserve, and we'll beat their price by 15% too. Call 888-400-FLOOR. We bring the store to your door. Searching for dental implants? When you find yourself needing to replace all of your teeth, you've done the research. You've heard Renew Smile say we are up to 60% less than other providers. And maybe you thought to yourself, not a chance. But the reality is, that is 100% true. Renew Smiles is up to 60% less than other providers and offers low monthly financing, even with lower credit scores. Great value, high quality, happy patients, lives changed. Call today. Who can you call when you need immediate help, any time of day or night, even when you're hundreds of miles away from home? Always giving you and your family peace of mind, knowing that people, benefits, and services are there for you 24-7. Over 50 million members rely on AAA, America's largest motor club and most highly recommended major roadside assistance provider. AAA's legendary roadside assistance is a network with over 50,000 vehicles that respond to more than 32 million assistance calls every year. If something happens and we're broken down, my family's not going to be stranded. There are so many benefits to membership, and AAA is there if you're locked out of your car, need a tow, run out of gas, have a flat tire, or a dead battery. You know, if you have one flat tire or one battery service, that membership fee pays for itself. Wherever you go, wherever you are, you can trust AAA to be there when you need them. Call AAA today and find out how much you can save. Hi, I'm Micah, and I still want to buy your house. When you call 713-565-5000, you're working with me, a Houstonian who's been buying houses for 25 years. I make it easy with an as-is cash offer on your home within 24 hours, whether it's a total fixer-upper or in perfect condition. When you sell to Micah, there are no fees, no commissions, no banks, and no repairs. Just call 713-565-5000 for a free, no-obligation offer, 24 hours a day. That's 713-565-5000. All right, you guys, it is Tasty Tuesday. I really wish you could smell this because it is so delicious. Celebrating National Noodle Day, we are joined by Denver Young and Marco Ramirez. He's the chef at Ginya Ramen Bar. I am so excited that you guys are here. I'm excited too to be here. <laughs> <laughs> because this smells so good. It looks so good. So tell me a little bit about the cuisine overall. Uh, so right here we have our three most popular ramens. Uh, we have a chicken one, a tonkatsu, and our vegan. And these are pretty much, we have like a lot of ramens. We have uh, many to choose from, but these three guys usually steal the show. You can't yeah. go wrong with them. Our spicy chicken, our tonkatsu black with the black garlic oil inside, the seasoned egg, of course. Spicy creamy vegan is one of the best ramens. Even if you're not a vegan, ask them about the tofu for pork chashu. <laughs> but it is so good. I tell people all the time, like that is like one of the best ones to do. We have a full menu as far as uh, small plates and tapas. Mm -hmm. And these are like some of our most popular. So our pork gyoza, it's uh, homemade, made in-house. And then we have our spicy tuna tacos over here. They're a very fun little bite. And then, of course, we have our karage chicken. It's Japanese fried chicken. And then we have our ginya bun, very popular as well. And I hear a lot of meat is happening here, but you have vegan options too. We do, yes. We have a, actually a vegan uh, impossible gyoza. We have a vegan bun. We even have um, a vegan kids meal as well. <gasps> the kids yeah. meal. And we have a regular kids meal and a vegan kids meal. And yeah, they're pretty awesome. I order it myself all the time. <laughs> it's, like, it's, de it's like decked well, out. You get like ramen. Great. Yeah. Yeah, well, okay, so you get ramen. Oh, yeah, else? you get ramen. You get two pieces of crispy chicken, some french fries. You get a sucker. You get some little like orange slice, everything. It's, it's pretty cool. Cool. And then the vegan ones are Impossible Taco, which are Impossible Tacos are super yummy. It also comes with edamame and like a little rice bowl <gasps> and the vegan ramen for the, oh, ki for the kiddos. Oh my goodness, yeah. yeah. So spring break, you want to go to Ginya Ramen Bar. They've got it going on. And now let's go ahead and bring in the chef. He actually... Well, let me, she's part of the team right yeah, now. Yeah, he actually she invited me to be part of the team because I'm just so, <laughs> such good at cooking. Uh, but tell me more about this and your well, chef specials. Okay, well, this is uh, the spicy garlic uh, marble man. Mm -hmm. It's actually uh, very popular in Asia. It's uh, really like a 
you know, like spicy, um, garlicky and uh, mm. you know ginger flavor that I love right yeah. uh, if you don't feel like eating this we also have the uh, the salmon down it's actually pretty good it still comes with rice uh -huh. and uh, ginger and wasabi oh my goodness okay so tell me about the inspiration behind your ex your exclusive chef your two exclusive chef specials right now yes we usually have like uh, the ramen Mm -hmm. And uh, the small plate, which is the salmon done. Oh, there's so We usually so have good. one every time, like tapas and ramen. Okay, and I, I cannot express to you how much this looks so beautiful and it smells so good. And I'm ready to go to break because uh, I get to actually sample these. But if somebody <laughs> wants to go in and get a poll of this very, very tasty ramen, where can they go? Uh, we have our we have nine locations in Houston. We have Midtown Heights, and we just opened our Spring Branch location. But they're pretty much all over NASA, the Woodlands. You know, we have a lot, Ooh, Ooh, a lot, lot of options, <laughs> and all good. They have a kids menu, everybody. I'm yeah. absolutely in love with this. So Kerrigan, which of these am I going to have to fight you over for? Mm, um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, yeah. Share. Yeah, I, I, I'm a person that like has to have a bite of, of everything. I never exactly. Uh, I'm, I'm not sharing everything with you. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had an answer for you. I had to go look over there myself, man. <laughs> Hmm. Anyways, let's get to our current <laughs> ones. I'm, I'm still thinking about that. I can't even move forward without answering. Spicy tuna, come on. Okay, yes, that one. That one, the spicy tuna. <laughs> okay, current wind speeds are starting to pick up for us. We're really calm this morning. I was seeing those winds out of the southeast now at 8 miles per hour. Temperatures outside are also warming up. It's feeling kind of nice out there. Uh, now that we've knocked out that chill that was seen earlier this morning, we're in the 60s here in Houston, 66 off in Galveston. Still a couple of uh, 50s sprinkled up to our northern counties, but lows tonight will be much milder. So walk outside. The temperature it is now will Will generally be what you're waking up to tomorrow. We'll have to wait until that chill, like I said, goes away. It's a warming trend for the middle of this week. Highs tomorrow max out in the upper 70s, and then we see some of those uh, highs today, I should say, are in the upper 70s, and tomorrow we'll be reaching those 80s. Going into our full week ahead now, if you have plans for the weekend, heads up, chance of rain is in the forecast. So we have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with that chance of rain present. It's not a washout, not widespread showers and thunderstorms. There will be times where it's dry outside. You may not even see rainfall at all this weekend, but we do have some isolated chances for showers and thunderstorms to pop up throughout our area. 79 degrees is your forecasted high on Friday. Saturday and Sunday, we go back into those mid to lower 70s, and then we're cooler and clearer by Monday with that rain getting out of here. Ooh, the rain, Kerrigan. Do you remember when you were a kid and you used to seeing rain, rain go away? Yeah. I think I barely realized like mm, two years ago that that was about a concussion, wasn't it? That was about a what? Wasn't it? About what? About rain, rain, go away, come around another day. Yes, but what The man was it bumped about? his head and then, oh. I don't know. Ito, can you hear me? This is producer Lou checking in. I love how you didn't take the apron off. Oh, hey. <laughs> I know. Well, I'm, I I'm just, team Jinya now. I love that. I love that for you. She said, let's carry on with the show <laughs> wearing my apron. Can everyone else hear Lou right now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they can. I'm live. Yeah. Hi, Carrie Good. <laughs> I, I got a mic I like, now. I was like, why is Lou speaking to us in the middle of the show? But <laughs> if you can hear Lou at home, then this is so much fun. Now there's three of us. I know. Lou has the power. <laughs> I was like, Charlie, open my mic real quick. I got something to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, y'all. That's all I had to say. <laughs> bye, Lou. Lou's exiting the chat. All Love right. you, Lou. <laughs> Love you, Lou. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, let's go ahead and move on with this amazing story. I hope it motivates and inspires you all. Now, for the fifth Olympics in a row, a boxer from Cleveland that lives in Cleveland will be representing the USA. Well, this fifth time is going to be the first time it's going to be a woman. Morel McCain did not start boxing until she was 17 years old, but now she's ready to make her mark in the sport. Matt Barnes has her journey to Paris. To become an Olympian means making sacrifices. Boxer Morel McCain knows that all too well. It was just the moment where I was just like, 
is this for me? And then God slapped me in the face and was like, girl, yes. You just got to work harder. <laughs> that meant dropping out of school and quitting her job to focus on what mattered to her most, boxing. I eliminated every distraction. I eliminated class. I eliminated working and just was like, OK, you got to be poor for this. <laughs> Morel came painfully close to qualifying for Tokyo 2020, serving as the alternate. But for Paris 2024, she will be in the ring, having locked up her spot on Team USA at the Pan American Games last December in Chile. I don't really even think it like hit me as of yet. It hit me to the point where it's like, wow, like hard work pays off. But now it's like we still got work to do. <laughs> That includes raising money to get her family to Paris to cheer her on in this once in a lifetime event. Who knows what's going to happen years from now. So I want to be able to give them to have them have that same moment that I have. And not from the TV, but actually like being there to witness this. In the meantime, Morel is in the gym because making the Olympics is just step one. Winning gold is the ultimate prize. I feel a little butterflies, but once I cross the ropes, it's like it's me or you and it's mine so <laughs> i want it and i'm gonna get it so if you're not prepared to fight for your life you might not want to be in here with me on the journey to paris i'm matt barnes hi i'm lee trevino most people know me for winning six pga championships with my bum knee I started thinking I was going to have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered Arthritis Knee Pain Centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting-edge image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief, comfort, and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers relieved my pain and changed my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. Anniversary sale is here. Our once a year celebration of style, selection, and incredible savings store wide. Just look around. Great low prices on beautiful furniture you won't find anywhere else. Our suppliers have kicked in with price breaks for huge savings passed directly on to you. Plus, 60 month interest free financing. Pretty good, right? No high interest rates here. The Rooms to Go Anniversary Sale happens only once a year, and it's going on now. In here, you can expect to find crystal clear audio, expansive display space, and more comfort for everyone. But we still left room for all the unexpected things you'll find out here. The new 2024 Grand Cherokee lineup. Jeep, there's only one. During the Jeep Celebration event, get 10% below MSRP on most 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee and Grand Cherokee L models. Don't miss this great offer. I'm going to make this real simple. National Floors Direct will be anyone's price by 15% or it's free. Free rooms, 60, 70% off, a big box warehouse, it doesn't matter what the sale or offer is. We'll beat their price by 15% or it's free. Call 888-400-FLOOR and get a guaranteed low price on next day installation of name brand carpet and luxury flooring. 888-400-FLOOR. We beat their price by 15% or it's free. Real simple. Jesus says, I'm the light of the world. Hello, I'm Dr. Andre Lewis. Please join me in fellowship as we convey the light of Jesus Christ at New Faith Church each Sunday morning at 8 a.m. right here on Houston CW39. It was the biggest night for Hollywood. The Oscars brought out all the glam on Sunday. Sam Rubin has a full recap in today's entertainment report. It is being described as Hollywood's biggest night. And this year, 96 years in, the Academy Awards did not disappoint, especially for the many Oscar winners. Here's a look at how things panned out. Best picture, Oppenheimer. 
As predicted, Oppenheimer had a very good night winning seven Academy Awards, including the big one, Best Picture. Best Actor was Killian Murphy. And the Oscar goes to Killian Murphy. Chris Nolan and Emma Thomas, it's been the, the wildest, most exhilarating, most creatively satisfying journey you've taken me on over the last 20 years. I owe you more than I can say. Uh, all my fellow nominees, I remain in awe of you guys, truly. Best Supporting Actor, Robert Downey Jr. And the Oscar goes to Robert Downey Jr. I'd like to thank my terrible childhood <laughs> and the Academy in that order. You know, what we do is meaningful and the stuff that we decide to make is important. Um, so back to my publicist. Uh, and in what many see as a career achievement award, Oppenheimer's director, Christopher Nolan, finally wins his Oscar. And the Oscar goes to Christopher Nolan Oppenheimer. In the supporting actress category, no surprises here. Davine Joy Randolph has dominated all of the awards season, but this was her most emotional speech yet. The Oscar goes to Davine. I didn't think I was supposed to be doing this as a career. I started off as a singer, and my mother said to me, go across that street to that theater department. There's something for you there. And I thank my mother for doing that. Best Actress was the one category that was a little up in the air, with most pundits suggesting that Lily Gladstone would win, but in the end, it was a genuinely shocked Emma Stone for poor things. And the Oscar goes to Emma Stone. <laughs> um, my dress is broken. <laughs> I think it happened during I'm Just Ken. <laughs> I'm so deeply honored to share this with every cast member, with every crew member, with every single person who poured their love and their care and their brilliance into the making of this film. Ryan Gosling's performance of Barbie's I'm Just Ken almost broke the internet. I'm just Ken. Reviews for the show have generally been very good. We'll have a complete look at those Oscar ratings, always so important, tomorrow. That is your entertainment report here in Hollywood. I'm Sam Rubin. And I'd also like to throw in John Cena's little bit also into the highlights from the Oscar Sunday show. All right, here's a look at our sponsored content. We are going to be back tomorrow. Guess who's stopping by? Of course, it's Wednesday. You know, it's going to be Chad. He's got Chad's Corner all wrapped up for you, ready to show you for tomorrow. We'll see you mañana.